Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Cancer. Um, so Cancer, as always, I'm doing a reading with my own deck, so the cards that you'll see are from this deck. Cancer, you are coming so grounded, so respectful, so responsible, so... Um, Standing your ground, right? That is basically your energy. It's like you're firm. You know that you, it's like you are in your rightful place, right? And that feels like a place of authority and of power, right? And I want to say you, it's like you're not um, minimizing the extent of this power, right? It's almost like it's the opposite. You are actually acknowledging the extent that you can influence, that you can help, that you can um, reach, right? Because I, I'm seeing here from the cards and I'm going to show you, but your interest in acknowledging this power, acknowledging this, all of these accomplishments, right? That could very well be financial and professional, right? Um, but you're not doing it for yourself. It's not something that is um, ego-based. It's almost like you, you have to stand your ground so that you are so that you stay in this position for as long as possible, right? So that you can sustain yourself in this wealthy, very powerful position in order to share this wealth, in order for you to, um, it's like, it's almost like you want to help others with what you have accomplished, right? Especially people that you feel like are in need of love, right? And I know that here it's coming through more as like sharing the wealth, right? Sharing your money, right? Collaborating in projects or, you know, really lending money for people that you know, that you love, that are in need. But it's almost like you, you are coming so firm, but also so generous, but not like, a, you know, um, how do I put this? It's like you you're not naive, you're not going to, you know, simply give away what you have accomplished, right? In a way that it's very, um, yeah, it's very naive, but you're not coming through as naive at all. You're coming through very firm as this queen of pentacles, right? What I heard from this card is cancer, you are standing your ground. Right? You have come, it's almost like you have come to this position that you have earned it, right? You have worked for it. Like you, you've done a lot, right? You have uh, put a lot of work into building this way to be in this position right now, right? And so this position is a position of power, right? And authority, right? To me, the king and the queen are usually seen as authority figures. And so you are opening your reading as an authority, right? But standing your ground, it's like there is no um, bells and whistles. There is no applause. There is no, uh, you know, vain, uh, how to say that? Vanity, right? There is no um, um, desire to uh, be praised or anything. It's almost like you knowing that you are standing your ground, right? That you hold within your being, within what you have built, right? It's like you have built yourself an empire, right? This is what I'm seeing with the next card, the emperor. But it's interesting how the emperor more so lately, I feel like it's not coming through as like um, a person or, you know, a consciousness is more so coming through as like the what you have accomplished, right? It's like, so this was showing me like the you looking at the extent of which you have like, um, like everything that you have done, everything that you have accomplished, like the extent of your empire, the extent of your territory, right? Because it's almost like I'm seeing you 
almost like at the top of a hill, right? It's almost like the images here that are closer are just because you are with this privileged view. So it's like the extent that it goes, it's like it's so extensive, right? It's so big, it's so incredibly, um, well, powerful, right? Because it's like, even with your uh, naked eye, like, and from a standpoint that you are, you know, privileged, it's like, you can barely see the end of it, right? Because it's so big, right? It's almost like being at the top of this hill and trying to, you know, find the edge of your territory, right? But it's like, it's so tiny, right? It's so distant that you are, it's almost like you're having a hard time to acknowledge where your territory ends or where your power ends, right? It's almost like you, I feel like here you're feeling a little bit like indestructible, right? It's like you, you know that you have come to a position that is very strong, that is very steady, that you are not going to it's like you're not going to um, be easily moved, right? It's like you know that this position is one that you have. It's almost like you had to, you know, go through all of these steps, right? All of, It's like now that you're in this position and that you're looking back, right, to every single thing that you've done, to every single position that you have been to come to this one right of great power of great influence of great authority right it's like you know what where you have come so now looking back you see the extent of it right so it's almost like acknowledging the path that you had to travel to be where you are right now right and it feels like as i said right it's like the two cards are following the empire right? The emperor, but I want to say your empire. It's like the travel, the traveled path, right? One of very, uh, like you're very, like you, you never questioned it. It's like you, you, okay. So I was going to say you never doubt it, but it's like you, you might have doubted, but you never you have never given up, right? With the nine of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles. So, I mean, you have a lot of power. Like you have built for yourself an empire cancer that is very, very steady. It's like perhaps, you know, building your financial independence, right? It's like you acknowledging this, right? It's like, this nine of pentacles is representing this card, right? It's like you at the top of the hill, right? At the top of your career, at the top of this accomplishment, right? Or these accomplishments, I want to say. It's like when you get to this place, it's like you look back and you see the path that you had to travel, right? And it's almost like each thing each mission each project each step of the way was making it even more abundant even more wealthy even more solid even more trustworthy right it's like this is a path that is not easily destructible right or um there is like a lot of um there is a lot of work involved right i want to say there is a lot of um, effort put into this but as I said it's like when you acknowledge this cancer when you look back and you see what you have created for yourself right which is like you you are in a great position right you are in this very wealthy position I want to say and you are it's like with the nine of pentacles I feel like you are enjoying you know the goods the the comforts all of the accomplishments you're enjoying your own wealth right it's like you are making the most of your abundance right but with the ten of pentacles right if here is you enjoying the fruits of your labor right it's like you don't want it just for yourself right here with two pentacles in the middle it's like 
you want to share it with somebody at least, right? Or, and I want to say, I feel like there's more, right? But the first one that you share this with cancer is perhaps somebody that you have known your entire life, right? Because of the six of cups. So this person, it's almost like, you know, and because of the meaning of the 10 of pentacles being family, perhaps the first person that you see yourself sharing your wealth is somebody in your family, right? Somebody that um, perhaps they they didn't know that this was what you were building, right? But now that you have come to this top point, right? It's like to this um, highest moment, perhaps, in your career, or, you know, you have come to a position where you feel comfortable to share and to just, you know, look around and acknowledge. It's almost like you could go further, right? You could keep just walking. You could keep on persevering in this path of making an abundant life, right? Creating this prosperity, right? Creating this um, wealth for you. But I feel like you, it's like you have come to a position where acknowledging, right? It's like taking this look back is just fortifying this standing your ground, holding this position, right? Or like um, making it even more, it's like incorporating this position of power, this position of authority, right? So even if they didn't see this path, it's like now you're inviting them to see, right? It's like now that you, it's almost like, you know, I'm seeing you going down this aisle, right? It's like leaving this, um, post over the hill going down this path but because there is somebody that you invited from your past or you know somebody that you love right that there is this beautiful loving nourishing exchange right with the six of cups and they are it's almost like perhaps it's the first time that you're inviting them into your empire. It's like they didn't know that this was everything that you were building, right? And because they are coming to see that when it's all very steady, when it's all very solid, right? It's like they are amazed by it, right? But this is something that I feel like it's very spontaneous and very, uh, like very, uh, it's only natural that you would want to share your love, share your wealth with people that you love, right? People from your family, people that are just important to you, right? It's like, it wouldn't be as satisfying just to know that you have accomplished this for yourself, right? It's like, it's important to have, and I, would, I don't want to say like their approval, it's more like sharing the wealth with them, right? I know how to express that, but it's almost like uh, you know that they're not going to take any advantages, you know, from this place that you're fi that you're finding yourself uh, in right now, right? It's like they're not going to exploit this, you know, loving connection, right? It's almost like they're just going to add to this beautiful environment, to this beautiful um territory right of abundance right and prosperity but i feel like even though you have a you know a clear intuition about how is this connection with whoever this person is and i want to say like perhaps the first per person that you're sharing this wealth with right with but it could be like just, you know, sharing the news of, you know, you uh, closing on like a, a very important contract, you know, uh, sealing a deal or, you know, some sort of very significant career movement, I want to say, right, because of all of these pentacles. But as much as you trust them because you know them, right, because you have known them, right, this is like a... a it's like a heart to heart connection, right? It's like their family, they are a loved one. They, it's like, you know that this exchange is pure. The two cars that are coming next, Cancer, I don't feel like you could say the same thing, right? Because it's almost like the, 
moment that you share this wealth with the first person, no matter how close to you they are, how intimate connection uh, they are, right? It's like the moment that this empire is seen by another other than you, it's like it's going to spark interest, right, in others. And I want to say with the seven of swords coming after the six of cups, it's like your, it's like your sensitive soul, your desire to, because you can share the wealth, right? And by that, I mean, also like sharing your love, right? It's like you, it's like, perhaps you have this feeling like now you have enough that you, it's interesting because it's coming through as like, you have love to spare, which is actually what came through for um, Gemini yesterday. But sparing the love for Gemini felt like more like this uh, running for the lives kind of uh, movement, right? Where they needed to get out of a crumbling moment. And it's like they were surrounding themselves and a loved one that was meant to come together with them. Um, with love for both of them as this cushion of love, right? As protection so that they could leave this place unharmed or, you know, less um, damaged. So, but for you, the way that this love is being spared, in a sense, it's more like uh, because you are standing your ground. So it's almost like you're so firm. You're so um, in this knowingness right of your power of your authority of your wealth right that you know who you can spare it with who you can share it with right after the seven of swords we have the ace of swords so i feel like this is almost like you know all of the the this card is coming through as like people in need, right? But people that are perhaps, you know, desperate or, you know, people that would do anything to get a little piece of what you are offering or, and I don't feel like you're offering, right? It's almost like, you know, that there are people and I want to say like a group, right? It's coming through as a lot of people, right? That perhaps now know of your wealth, know of your position and want to take advantage, right? It's coming through as like that. It's like, because I feel like there are multiple types of interests, right? It's like, and they're perhaps in this group, right? Perhaps there is one person that is like, that has like good intention, right? It's like, they are not going to um, over exploit you. It's like, they're not going to take any type of, um, negative advantage, right? It's like, they're not going to, um, be deceitful, right? But it's almost like you have to have a lot of, um, like this, uh, it's like your antenna, right? This ace of, uh, this ace of swords is coming through. It's like, even though you do want to share and you can share your love, you can share your abundance, right? Because, you know, you feel very comfortable now. It's like you are in a position where you can afford to share it, right? But first you do it with people that you know that you can trust, with people that you love. But then the news is going to spread very quickly and even people that are not that familiar to you, right? Are going to show up perhaps wanting to work with you, asking something from you, you know, uh, wanting to take some sort of advantage, right? It's like they are, it's like they're going to come very quickly and all together, I want to say, but maybe all at the same time, but you will have to have this antenna, right? Very tuned in to what is the true intention of each one of these people right that now are coming to you because they are seeing this right it's like they don't see they don't see what you see in this empire right they don't see the steps that you had to walk right perhaps the first per person that you share this wealth with with rich feels like family right it's like they know like they value your labor, they value your effort, right? Because they're seeing it from how you're presenting it to them, right? But these people here, it's like they're just seeing 
the riches they're just seeing the wealth they're just seeing the money they're just seeing you know the the external factors right and so they might not have all of them i want to say right perhaps one of them is very truthful in their intention right in approaching you because they are in need right so perhaps they are in this bunch of people where some of them are just not as truthful right or they're not you know uh, being very sincere with this approach right wanting to take advantage of what you want to share right so i feel like cancer it's like being it's like you are already coming very smart but it's all about also like being um did did i say smart here i meant to say smart here but it's like you are already coming very um powerful right very like you're standing your ground so it's almost like it's very hard to fool you, right, in this position. So being smart in discerning intention, right, among the people who might want to take advantage, right? It's like, um, let this truth like that you find in yourself be the thing that resonates with the truth of those who are asking to work with you or to, you know, um, enjoy this the fruits of your labor right but it's like there is this distinction to be made right and i feel like you are going to be able to make that it's just like be firm and be smart okay so i'm going to pull more cards for you cancer as well as the astrological rooms um in the extended reading so if you want to join me there you can find the link down below if not i'll see you next time okay bye